What's up, everybody? Doc Dark 1985. There's levels to this. All right, so I got a comment in my comment section. Uh, shout out Casanova. He sent me this link showing me how the PS5 is going to be running Assassin's Creed Valhalla at 4K, but it's going to be an upscaled 4K. And the Xbox Series X is really going to be running Assassin's Creed Valhalla at a native 4K. So, you know, that's cool, whatever. You know, his his uh his argument was, um, you know, I've been ripping the Xbox Series X uh, S for a while about not being a next-gen console. But then I, you know, I made a video saying I'm going to let it breathe and it is a next-gen console and I still stick by that. It's a next-gen console. I'm going to let the Xbox Series S breathe. I am. But now let's get back to this Sony running Assassin's Creed Valhalla at an upscale 4K. I saw, as when he sent me that link, it got me, you know, went down the rabbit hole of just seeing, you know, what people are saying about it. And I saw this one YouTube video where this guy is using this and it's kind of throwing it in the face of Sony fans or whatever, right? And here's the thing. There's certain battles you don't want to fight, right? There's certain things you just don't want to brag about because it's not even worth bragging. And this is what I feel about this, okay? An upscaled 4K versus a native 4K. I highly doubt you're going to be able to tell the difference. Unless, like my dude Rome says, uh, Rome Rush, shout out Rome Rush. Unless, like, like he says, unless you're like watching a digital foundry video and you're watching both videos side by side and they literally got to zoom in so you can see the difference, you're not going to be able to tell the difference between upscaled 4k and freaking uh, native 4k that's why um what's it called y yakuza zero, zero dragon or whatever at 900p <clears throat> compared to 1080p good luck the most people being able to tell the difference good luck Good luck. That's why I really, just the fact that we know that it's running at 900, that's why I felt some type of way about it. But it, could you actually tell the difference? 720p and 1080p, for sure you could tell the difference. But 900p and 1080p, uh, I don't know. Maybe you can, I don't know. But 4K upscaled and native 4K, mm, I bet money you can't tell the difference. Unless somebody's telling you, I bet money you can't tell the difference. Or maybe, you, maybe you're playing at the, on the Dallas... Cowboy Stadium freaking Jumbotron. That maybe on that on a screen that big, maybe you could tell the difference. But unless you're playing on a massive screen, you ain't gonna be t able to tell the difference. If you're not even playing on a 4K screen, this doesn't even matter, right? So I mean, to me, this is something that Xbox fans or Microsoft fans you shouldn't brag about. We know, we know that Xbox Series X is more powerful, regardless of what anybody says. We know it's more powerful. 12 teraflops is more than 10. That's it, right? The argument always was, did that power matter when it came to the games and how was it going to translate? I would argue that native 4K versus up, upscaled 4K, you can't tell the difference. Not really going to matter. Now, if there's a game running on the Xbox Series S, X that's running at 60 and the PS5 can only run it at 30, now, now you got something to talk about. Now you got something to brag about. Maybe you should brag about that RDA, or what is that shit? RDNA 2? Is that what it's called? I don't even know what that is. So that's why I'm not even talking about it. But apparently the Xbox Series X has it. The PS5 has some other version of it or some not quite the same version of it. And look, just take... Take heed as to what happened with Sony fans. A lot of Sony fans are talking trash about Microsoft and the Xbox Series X. I saw it on Twitter talking about Microsoft does not have a full RDNA 2. And now that they do have it, and they're the only ones that have it, now they look foolish. Now you look foolish because you were talking about something that you had no idea about. Or I don't know where you got your information from, but you were clearly wrong. And now Microsoft made you look dumb, right? But for us Microsoft fans... Don't brag about 4K, native 4K versus upscaled 4K, all right? Because what my all the this is the best way I could put it. Microsoft themselves aren't really competing against the PS5 as far as the box. The X, the Xbox Series X 
all that is, listen to me, all the Xbox Series X is, is a way for you to play Microsoft games at their highest settings. But that's not what they want. They want you to just play their games, period. That's why their games are on PC. That's why their games are on the Xbox One S. That's why their games are still going to be on the Xbox One X. And that's why their games are going to be on the Xbox Series S. Microsoft is literally telling you for a year, a year and a half, whatever, we just want you to play our games. If they really cared about selling the Xbox Series X, they would have only made that console. They wouldn't have had all these games been able to be played for a year, year and a half or whatever on the old Xbox. But they are. Now, I consider it consumer friendly because I'm going to be able to buy Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the Xbox One S. And when I get my Xbox Series X, literally, I get the upgraded version like that. That is freaking phenomenal. That is freaking awesome, right? Microsoft doesn't really want you to compare the Xbox Series X to the PS5. They're not, they're not really competing against it. We already know it's a more powerful console. Now let's see how it translates to game. And if the difference is native, let's say every single game from now on, the only difference is on the Xbox Series X, you get native 4K. And on the PlayStation 5, you get upscale 4K. But the PlayStation 5 has better games overall. Then that's going to be the better console. I mean, a PS5 fan is going to argue that. Like, yeah, that's fine. We're playing our games at native 4, at 4K upscaled, but we have the better games. Halo Infinite right now does not look good. These are all facts. So Microsoft fans, hold off on talking trash between the f- native 4K and upscale 4K because you probably won't be able to tell the difference. When I see the Xbox Series X running a game at 60 and a PS5 running a game at 30 and then it's the same resolution, then... Okay, then we could talk trash, but I don't think that's going to happen. So right now, it's just whatever system gives you the most value. You already know me, budget gamer, the whole bunch of games that I haven't played before. Xbox Series X makes sense to me. I already got Game Pass. This is what I want. Doc Dog 5 there's levels to this. We out. Peace.